Welcome to Whiskey Society, episode six. How you doing out there? Today, we're talking Suntory's Yamazaki 18 year, single malt Japanese whiskey. She's a beaut. Uh, one of my favorite whiskeys, period. Um, heavily cemented in my top five. I love this whiskey. The issue is, uh, it's not really available and it's, in my opinion, pretty expensive. We'll talk about that and uh, we'll talk about maybe a home bar hack that I like to call it, way of getting to this experience, getting to taste this bottle with much more readily available, cheaper whiskeys that you can blend at home uh, to simulate what we're getting, the, the, the nose, the tasting profile from the Yamazaki 18 here. Uh, this is a special bottle. I brought out one of my finest t-shirts for this tasting here. And we'll, let's, let's have a little fun in, in episode six, Yamazaki 18, starting now. Red bottle to the shot glass, see the angel share. Pull back the curtain to reveal something, make you stare. Once the whiskey hits your lips, you will bow to care. Single bell bourbon got me feeling hypey. Here's the drink and the learning. Cheers, whiskey society. For a single malt whiskey, okay? It's very similar to scotch. Right? It's, it's very similar to scotch in terms of the overall profile. A lot of Japanese whiskey is, but for a single malt whiskey, this is unbelievably complex and many, 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 many different flavors that I can get here. Uh, it feels like it's a blend because of how smooth it is, but it's not. It's a single malt, okay? It's fantastic and it's really unique. And it's one of those bottles that um, I wish I could have more of. The unfortunate part about it is it's very, very hard to get. Uh, the 12 year expression is a little bit easier to get, just slightly. Uh, but at this point, you know, even here on the West Coast, you don't find it on the shelf, okay? It comes out maybe once or twice a year, really hard to find. You pretty much need to know somebody if you want to get it at retail price. Retail price of this bad boy now. Uh, I got my bottles um, a year plus ago at a 250, and now they're at 300. On the secondary market, they're double, triple that. It is one of, if not the most beautiful and elegant whiskeys I've ever had. Okay. The nose is unbelievably balanced and smooth. You have butter, you know, marzipan, nut notes, floral notes, bright fruit notes, dark fruit notes, um, you know, sugar, um, light sugar, white sugar, uh, like almost like a creme brulee sugar sweetness to it that is um, really, really impressive. All right, let's give it a taste. Now, I've been fortunate enough to have this uh, whiskey many times. Uh, un unfortunately, the bottle's about a third uh, of the way left. I've drank two thirds of it, so I don't have too much time left with this bottle, unfortunately. I'm not sure when I'll be able to get another one. But on the taste here, that marzipan, you know, almondy, buttery note is there, uh, green apple, Peaches, plum, uh, lavender, uh, dark sugars, light sugars, you know, that creme brulee. Uh, it is light, bright, beautiful, rounded, creamy, nice, medium to long finish. It's elegant. It's one of the best whiskeys out there. If you like that, you know, floral, buttery, scotch-like, um, flavor profile. It's okay for me here shortly when I when I break down the rest of this bottle and for those that don't have access to this uh, I'm gonna give you my home bar hack now and we'll talk about how maybe we can replicate this or be close to it this uh, Yamazaki 18 experience. First and foremost and I've done a video on this before I believe this was episode 2 but carding 12 okay you pour about 50% into your, you know, if you're going to do a, a, a dram, about 50%, 60% uh, 
carbon 12 into your glass, okay? Another about, oh, 20% of green spot, okay? This will help give you that light, bright green apple fruitness. The, the carbon 12 is the base, um, that sort of melony, um, light, creamy scotch flavor. That last piece to help round it out, I have Glen Farkless 12 here. That's gonna give you a little bit of that dark fruit, that, that sherry uh, finish. That's gonna give you just the slightest hint of smoke. There, this is not smoky by any means, but there's just a very, very, very slight smoke note to it. The Glen Farkless 12 will give you your dark fruit, sherry, just the slightest smoke note. Okay, so about, let's call it about 60% of the Cardu, about, you know, 25% or so of the green spot, and the rest, you know, your last 15% of this Glen Farkless 12. I think if you blend that together, I think you'll find a lot of the nice uh, notes that you see here and taste here in the Yamazaki. Some of you out there might be, I'll never blend my whiskeys. No, fair, fine. Uh, then this isn't for you. But those that are a little bit more willing to be creative or experiment, give this a try. If you have these available or you maybe a buddy has one of the three and you have the other two, blend them together and see if, um, if you've had Yamazaki, see if it's similar. Or if you haven't, then you don't know any better. Trust me, it's pretty close. Uh, it's very enjoyable. The Glen Farkless 12 is, like I said, looking for the sherry here, most predominantly that dark fruit. You could replace this with maybe an Abelard 12 or a Tam Du and get that same uh, flavor profile, okay? I really enjoyed the blend of these three. I thought it was a fun little exercise and I enjoyed the taste of it quite a bit. I did, like I said, I've done the video before where Johnny Walker uses the Cardin 12 as one of their base blending whiskeys. And so that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm creating my own Johnny Walker that seems to be similar to the Yamazaki 18, right? Um, nice, bright, honeyed scotch, green apple, the, that, that light, bright fruit note, and then that dark fruit, slight smoke, uh, honey flavor of the Glen Farkless 12 helps to build, if you will, the Yamazaki 18. Have fun with it, experiment, you know, let me know, post, uh, comment on um, other home bar hacks that you've identified. Uh, as always, you know, enjoy your whiskey, share your whiskey, work hard, whiskey easy. Cheers, thanks so much for watching.